welcome to another episode of the Feminist Tea Party. My name is Maggie. And I'm Charlie. And these are the top stories of the week. Um, let's, let's get right into them. Is that lemonade you're drinking? Girl, it's some tea. But it, it, it works just as well <laughs> we all, with, with the lemonade. We are all drinking Beyonce's lemonade. So, there was a rapture on Saturday. Queen Beyonce, I think. I think she deserves that title. Queen B. Queen B hit us with a documentary on HBO uh, this past Saturday. And soon after that, her new visual album was released exclusively on Tidal. And it is visually stunning. Oh, it's absolutely beautiful. Beyond that, there are some controversial things mm -hmm. beyond the beauty of the uh, of the album. I mean, we're talking about lemonade, but some of the songs drink 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 the tea to Mr. Mr. Carter. This is not crazy in love, Beyonce. Oh no, this is just is like not. who is this? I feel like she's become more cinematic with you know uh, her her visual representation of her music. Um, and also much more political, much more like expressive. She's not afraid to say like, you know, fuck patriarchy, you know, fuck racism or anything like that. And you also were talking about, um, going back to Black Girl Magic, you were talking about like this kind of exclusivity maybe going yes, on? Yes, there is a bit of a, I don't want to call it a controversy, but there is a conversation going around. Right when the visual album came out, Twitter was... First of all, super excited. Like, all the weaves were snatched. But there was uh, also, black women made it very clear, uh, if you're gonna write a think piece about it, make sure you get a black woman to do it. Which I think is fair. I think um, because of all the cultural extent, appropriation you know. happening, uh, they, they feel that this is something that it shouldn't be touched or, or that they didn't want they didn't want it tainted or kind of uh, super yeah. you know analyzed by someone who's not part of that culture who, who, who hasn't had that experience her last album remember mm -hmm. she sampled uh, Chimamanda she samples a few poets um, she also samples Malcolm X and how the black woman is the most ignored in, in mm -hmm. you know our society and it's true as a media educator I, that, that was one of the topics that we did in my class when we were talking about Trayvon Martin and other um, even just black men in general that um, uh, have been a victim of police brutality are talked about over and over again in the news but there's been a lot of um, women you know maybe like the most controversial one has been like Sandra Bland but there's been so many other uh, black women that have been ignored and they created the um, Say Her Name mm -hmm. movement to kind of honor these women that, like as you said, they're completely ignored. I think I can admire her album and I can enjoy it as mm -hmm. can, you know, pretty much everyone around us. Art mm -hmm. is universal. I don't think it's particularly exclusive as, you know, listening and enjoying. Um, everybody can do that. Um, in terms of analyzing and taking this work of art mm -hmm. um, and taking ownership of it, black women, I think, have, have you know, this is, this is theirs. I was a little hesitant to agree. Uh, a part of me does still me feel like it's a bit exclusive, like maybe not necessarily white people, but women, like women of color generally. I think can identify with black women as well, but I guess there are things that we just we just don't don't know. Um, a lot of a lot of it coming with skin color to begin with. Skin color, hair. I feel that music is supposed to be something inclusive, bringing people together and self expression. I don't know. I don't, I don't like this. This is only mine. Especially music and like Beyonce music. She's known internationally, so it's kind of a little bit upsetting that that then somebody like us can't really say anything about it. I guess we can talk about it. I don't think we'll get in trouble with the black <laughs> community for, for talking about Beyonce because it is an amazing, mm -hmm. um, amazing visuals and the songs, the song, girl. Mm -hmm. If they can cheat on Beyonce, mm. y, la, y las otras, 
Okay, ¿En qué nosotros? quedamos nosotros entonces? But, okay. I mean, you know, cheers to Beyonce yes. and um, Black Girl Magic and Black Women and Women of Color, um, which leads us to our next interesting story. I saw, I read about like Beyonce's like Lemonade and then also I read about this news. And mm -hmm. I was like, is it like, you know, Beyonce's more like alluding to like this big change or maybe appreciating well, um, you know, a black black woman, and then we get a black woman in the twenty. The women on the dollar bills first. They wanted to put yeah. it on the ten, but Hamilton came out, and people were like, "Oh, this guy did yeah. a lot more than what we, you know, he's not just the ten dollar founding father. <laughs> like he did a whole bunch of things, and I think it's fair to not take him off because he did. He's, he's, he's treasury. Like, yeah, like he made the whole like the reason we have like dollar bills. He should be is because of Hamilton. So on the 20, we have now Harriet Tubman, who uh, she freed the slaves um, with the Underground Railroad. So we had Jackson? Jackson, Jackson. Jackson was in the front. Yes, Jackson was there and he was a slave owner. And now we're getting Harriet Tubman, who was a slave abolitionist. But it is, it is bittersweet because Jackson is still going to be behind that bill um, so oh, it's like oh. two steps forward one step back i was gonna whatever. give them a cookie and now i have to give it I gave them half a cookie people were pretty upset because jackson was a slave owner and then you're gonna have a woman who stood for anti-slavery and freedom um and actually put the work behind it and she's sharing a bill with her oppressor basically we're gonna ignore Andrew Jackson and we're just gonna be throwing our tongue. Yeah. Out. Wait till the rappers comes out. And the ten dollar bill, mm -hmm. Hamilton is gonna stay in the front. I guess the five dollar bill is gonna have a bit of a change too. There's gonna be Martin Luther King. Um a few suffragettes are gonna be Yes, that's the one behind Hamilton. The suffragettes. Behind Hamilton. Mm -hmm. There you go. You know what's interesting? Last week we had a topic about equal pay and now I don't know why. It's like the men are gonna get Maybe when they look at her, because she looks so serious, <laughs> maybe they look at her and be like, maybe we should like share this with Somebody women. Somebody made a because really funny joke. They said, they said the 20 is not going to be worth 60% because we have a woman on the front of the bill. And that, I just found that super funny. But also because last and week, sad. Last week we, we determined that um, if we keep going like this, uh, equal pay will be 2058. So we're going to have the, oh, the woman sorry. on a bill. First. First, before we get equal pay. All right. Well, um, I can't wait to spend my Tubman's yes. in... It's going to be four years. Four years? Mm -hmm. uh, probably going to be like six or eight. I don't trust them to do things on time. And the, then if the, Trump the, gets the damn, elected, the damn go all down the Trump will set it back. Like, they're still working on the Second Avenue 9. It's been how long? Oh, my God. All right, so highlights. Highlights. Thank you to Miss Alisa. She sent me this story um, a while back and I was like, this is awesome. We have a student from Long Island, New York. Uh, her name is Augusta Uwamanzunya. If I butchered that, I apologize. Uh, her family is from Nigeria. She got into 12 schools, um, 12 colleges that she applied to. Mm -hmm. And eight of them were Ivy League and she was accepted to all of them. So she was accepted to all the Ivy Leagues in the Northeast. Oh my God. Y'all, that is black girl magic for you. That is black girl magic. For sure. She was actually recently at the White House uh, Science Fair. Her project was on cement out of all things and she made it work. So clearly she's smart. Yeah, <laughs> she's innovative. <laughs> Um, and she's uh, she studied she studies uh, science. So Augusta, whatever school you choose, um, I'm sure she's gonna shine so bright, mm -hmm. um, and her future looks amazing so far. Another girl who um, um, is also going to college um, is um, Angela Aquino. She's 17 years old, and she's actually from the Taft. Um, educational campus here in the Bronx, here in uh, Grand Concourse. I used to actually um, do some teaching over there. This is the Bronx. Right? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> That's the Bronx. Okay. The story came from uh, an, an alumna of mine. Um, her name is Eremi. So hi, Eremi. This this young um, Dominican uh, 
Girl. And she's Dominican. Mm -hmm. She is like a superstar when it comes to volleyball. And she um, has led the girls team into victory. Um, she's been playing um, since she was in middle school. She wanted to keep playing throughout, throughout the whole year, but the spring belongs to the boys. They refused uh, refused her her um, her request to play in the boys team and she wanted to compete against boys and like be in the boys team and you know boys team usually get more funding and just more practice and just you know a little bit more of like uh, attention her track record proved that she was a great and valuable player like why wouldn't they want her in their team like, I thought the boys and the and the and the team coach were actually okay with it so After they were they, they were okay with it, but um they have this public school athletic league, and they're the ones that they were not okay with. Okay, but the so, but the team was for it, and which the, I think and is, her, is a and bit her, more important because they're the ones playing. Right, it. and then her teacher, like her teacher, and like, she had to get some sort of like medical for like everybody was was supporting her and like saying this is proof that she can play, but it was not about that. It was the fact that she you know was a girl and they didn't want a girl on the team, and now they're gonna have to. I was ruled against this, so now she's gonna play with them and play against boys. Um, and it says also in the article that um, she's gonna play for Maroon College when she gets there in the fall. So uh, Latina magic and Black girl magic. Yes, yeah, just just girl magic. Girl Lady magic. magic. Yes. yes. We want to thank everybody who's been watching. We want you guys to send your uh, your topics. We recently had. Um, People just like yeah, just like Ed and me and Alyssa submit story to us. Uh, we want you guys to, to send us good, bad, whatever, just things that you guys want for us to talk about. Please comment, subscribe, and thumbs up this video and share it with your family and friends. All right, y'all. Cheers. Have a good week. Drink some water. Take your meds. Get some sleep. And drink some lemonade. Cheers. Nah, they know us already. <laughs>